I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Now in this video, we're going to go over the view menu default keyboard shortcuts. And we'll start with the master track. And on PC, it'll be Alt, Control M. And on Mac, it'll be Option, Command M. And if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up the master track over here, where we can adjust the master track level, the pan, adding effects, and so on. And what's great about the keyboard shortcuts in this menu is that the action is going to toggle. So if we hit it again, it hides the master track. So it's a great savings on screen real estate, but we could hide it when we're not using it, hit the keyboard shortcut when we want to use it. And the next action is the tempo envelope. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Alt T, and on Mac, it's Option T. Hit the keyboard shortcut, and that opens up the master track again, but it also shows the tempo envelope right here. Hold down Shift to create some points, and we can readjust our tempo on the fly, like this. We'll just view and hide it with the keyboard shortcut. Now you notice it doesn't hide the master track unless we use the master track keyboard shortcut. But if we trigger the tempo envelope keyboard shortcut, it opens it up and shows us the envelope. But we can still toggle it with that keyboard shortcut and hide the master track with the other keyboard shortcut. The next action is the mixer. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control M, and on Mac, it's Command M. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and it opens up the mixer down here. Now the mixer can appear in the dock like this, on the bottom, on the left side, the right side, or the top, or we could float it by grabbing the tab and dragging it out here. Now it's floating. But either way, we can show and hide it with that keyboard shortcut. Hide it or show it. If we put it back and dock it, we can show and hide it with the same keyboard shortcut. Hide it or show it. Now the next action is the transport. On PC, it's all Control T, and on Mac, it's Option Command and T. Now as we can see, right now we see it, but if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to hide the transport. Show it or hide it. Let's hide the mixer. Next we have the video window where we can view any video in our project. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is shift Control v and on Mac, it's shift Command and v Hit that keyboard shortcut, and that opens up the video window right here. And again, we can toggle it. And next we have the Docker. On PC, it's Alt-D, and on Mac, it's Option D. Now, if I hit it right now, it doesn't do anything because I don't have anything in the Docker. Let's reopen the video window and let's dock this window. Right click, choose Dock. Now, the video window is docked in the Docker. You can see the tab right here. Let's open up the big clock and the performance meter. Let's dock those two as well. Right click, dock big clock, which shows up in the same window, video or big clock. Do the same thing with the performance meter, dock it. Now the performance meter is in the same window or docker with the video, big clock or performance. So now we can show and hide the entire docker with that keyboard shortcut. 
again, on PC, it's Alt-D, and on Mac, it's Option-D. Hit the keyboard shortcut, and that hides the complete Docker. But we could also toggle any window in the Docker. And that'll also open up the Docker. Like the video, it opens up the Docker with the video window active because the video window is docked in this Docker. So you can open it up or close it either way. And over here, we have the toolbar Docker. And the keyboard shortcut is just the F key. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and it opens up the toolbar Docker right here. Toolbar one, two, and so on. And we can open and close this Docker or toggle it with that keyboard shortcut, the F key. Close it or open it. Next, we have the Media Explorer. On PC, it's all Control X, and on Mac, it's Option Command and X. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and that opens up the Media Explorer, where we can drag in or add in any sounds into our project. And it toggles with the same keyboard shortcut. Or we could dock it just like any other window in Reaper by right clicking right here. And it's still going to toggle whether it's docked or not. Then we have the routing matrix. On PC, it's Alt R. And on Mac, it's Option R. Hit that keyboard shortcut. That opens up the routing matrix for this project. Again, we can toggle it with the same keyboard shortcut to hide it or show it that easily. Then we have the project Media Effects Bay, which on the PC is Control B, and on Mac is Command B. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and we can see the project media effects bay right here. We can see the source media, media items, effects, and so on. Again, we can hide it with the same keyboard shortcut or show it that easily. Then we have the track manager, which on the PC is Shift Control M, and on the Mac, Shift Command M. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and that opens up the track manager right here. We can hide our tracks or show them. We can mute them, see the effects that are on each track, put them in record, or solo them from here. Again, we could hide it with the same keyboard shortcut or show it the same way. Then we have the screen sets or layouts. On PC, it's Control E, and on Mac, it's Command E. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and we can see our screen sets or layouts in this window. We can see the Windows ones where we can adjust these variables or the track screen sets from here, where we could save these variables. And we could also by default, save these screen sets using Shift F7 through F9, or recall them with F7 through F9. And do the same with the track views. Save them with Shift F4 to Shift F6, and recall them with F4, F5, and F6. But notice, we still have 10 slots to use, but by default, we only have keyboard shortcuts for the first three available. Well, we could change that right from here. And again, we can close this window with the same keyboard shortcut. Show it or hide it. Now, because the view menu is pretty long, I divided this video into two parts. In the next video, we'll go to the second half of the view menu default shortcuts. So that's pretty much it. That's the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks.